misses me, he'd chuck the crew row again, or chuck the hat. I'm in the drive through. I moved to Hemet. The average, the average temperature out here is 97 to 114. They should call this Cook-Ass County than Hemet. So, uh, this whole thing is just crazy. I've been looking at the news and I've been laughing at the news. The letter for the regular coffee and the uh, coffee is like this Yeah, uh, the sausage letter. Yeah. Regular coffee, coffee. sausage egg crispy, and, and uh, uh, iced coffee. Yeah, and yep. iced coffee. Regular ice cream. Yep. All right. So, um, I can't even remember what I'm ordering anymore. So that just tells you quite a bit of what's going on with old Jeff DePiro. And, um, I turned 59, uh, about three weeks ago. And, um, I've been having problems uh, remember, remembering shit. Enunciation. And they suspect something might. All oh, right, there's the coffee seat, coffee. Ladder, there you go. And the be a skip. You got it. And the uh, cookout. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you. All right, thank you. Get this damn thing right here. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, that cost me about 16 bucks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I've been tripping out on the news. And you guys remember I did that prior video about... Uh, <laughs> about those guys going to pri Russian prisons. So then we found out <clears throat> that two Americans that were fighting in the Ukraine with the Ukrainians. <laughs> they decided they're going to uh, they're going to try them and imprison them too. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is some crazy shit. I mean, I mean, I get it. You want to fight for the for a cause. I mean, I get that, but dude, you know, <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so uh, here I am. And I am Mr. Incoherent. Because in the news, things just get worse and worse and worse and funkier and funkier. And, uh, you know, just don't know what to do about it half the time. You know, sometimes it doesn't pay to, uh, it doesn't pay really to even look at the news if you really, really look at it. A lot of fluff. Is what the grumpy old guy calls it. You know, you got this celebrity, you know, news. Celebrity news. I mean, come on. You know, give it a break, will you? All right, what's with this guy and his motorcycle? Dude, I'm only going 40. Wow. Jesus, dude. This guy's exhaust pipe is like 20 feet out from behind his motorcycle. It's not even a proper exhaust pipe. Wow. Okay. So, uh, we're going to be getting back to, uh, God damn, there's a guy walking around with his pants off. Really, dude? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the American Legion Hall is down there, too. I'm going to have to go deal with those guys tomorrow. 
Um, so I'm going to get back to Watership Down. I managed to find my book after unpacking everything. So we'll get a chance to do that today, hopefully. Who? Uh, as for the doctors, you know that now, unlike Los An uh, L.A., I used to go to the West Los Angeles VA, I went to the downtown VA, and I went to Sepulveda VA to do all my clinics, my blood work, all that other stuff. But out here in Hemet, out here in Hemet, the VA is spilled, according to them. Okay, according to them, that there's not enough doctors hired it by the VA. Reportedly, there's 6,000 veterans that live in Hemet alone. And Hemet's not really a big, big town. 6,000 combat veterans, non-combat veterans, disabled and non-disabled veterans that are officially on the books, they call it. So I can see why getting appointments is nearly impossible. So these people are now outsourcing doctors in the local area here. Wow. Wow. And in this area, all these places, they got Everything from cancer centers to eyes, ears, prosthetics, and yet you can't get a god dang, uh, god dang it appointment. So, these people that look at you like you're a crackhead, they're trying to get an appointment. So, they said. These people at TriWest, TriCare, and all this other BS. I got to wait up to a month to two months before I even get so much as a phone call from a doctor or a representative. <laughs> wow. So meanwhile, I can get into a dermatologist. Well, actually, it's an assistant. Yeah, so I tried the dermatologist thing. <clears throat> and tomorrow I get to go into the dermatologist. Oh, there's one thing that there is abundance of in Hemet. It's funeral homes and crematoriums. I just passed up another crematorium. So there's two, there's three. There's three crematoriums, I counted. Three funeral homes. Well, it's because at Hemet... I found out it is an old people's retirement town. And another thing, I have not seen a good looking, actually, I saw one nice looking woman entire of Hemet since I've moved here. And we moved here on, I think, July, July 5th. It's already August 2nd. One good-looking woman. And she was nice. The rest of her old, old, fat, friggin' redneck hags. I'm like, damn, where's... I mean, look at this lady behind us. She's sitting there sucking on her... Uh, sucking on her fucking Slurpee. She's young, but she's fat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, at least she got nice hair. <laughs> nice hair, yeah. It can help you. It can help you screw them. <laughs> oh, anyway, so here we go. And I'm going past two hospitals. Here's a guy with a cast on his leg. There's a transient sitting there scratching his butt. Oh my gosh. Got a pawn shop. Got a furniture store just right here. Healthcare Surgical Center. Can't even get in there. Liquor stores, florists, I got it all here. 
the only thing we don't have is access to doctors. You got access to crematoriums. We don't have access to doctors to keep you from being put into a crematorium. Oh dear, look at this. She's gonna ride right up on my ass. Fucking bitch is riding right up my ass. Anyway, so the neighborhood's nice. It's nice, it's quiet. It's got an amp problem. It's got a hell of an amp problem. There are friggin' ants everywhere in this friggin' place. Anyway, uh, what's this video, 11 minutes? This is a throwaway video. I gotta take the CD out of the CD player because if you don't, guess what happens? You don't take it out and the truck starts cooking, guess what happens? CD player gets jacked up and the CD expands and guess what happens to the CD? The CD messes up the uh, messes up the radio. So here we are. It's Jeff DeFerro giving the morning murmurs. What do we call it? The morning murmurs? Some something like that. So it's going on 11 minutes and 50 seconds. So let's give it an even 12. I'll post this thing because it's just nothing but nonsense. And I might as well post nonsense. Cool.